Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, CDROM1019. Welcome back to Tales from Monkey Island, Chapter 2, uh, Siege of Spinner K. Hold on one second. Ah, oh, excuse me. That was really unprofessional. Hey, welcome back. So, um, I think I know what we have to do, but I just have to... Oh, there we go. Excuse me. Yeah, allergies must be kicking up a storm today. Uh, so, I couldn't talk to these guys earlier. I don't know why it lets me talk all of a sudden, but I think I need to trick these guys into helping me out here. Whoa. Can't find the treasure, huh? I know it's him. It's just, <laughs> well, we reburied it so many times, I can't remember where we put it. I mean, it's right behind you, idiot. Like someone should have been a little more decisive. Maybe I can help. Uh, hey, so there's something poking out by that tree. I think I see a bit of the chest poking out by the tree. What do you think I am? Some kind of back Do you know how hard it is to get through rubber tree roots? That makes it the ideal place to bury a treasure. If you were a smart pirate, that's exactly where you would have buried it. I do. Gah! There ain't nothing here! Uh, try it again. Try the tree again? <laughs> nah, those roots are too thick. There ain't no treasure chest down there. Hmm, okay. Maybe you left that coconut as a marker. Oh yeah, smart. We used a rolling floating treasure marker. It's brilliant. Take the cook, he said. It'll be good for him, he said. Uh, technically, that's true. McGillicuddy would have killed me if you hadn't got me off the ship. So you put the coconut where we buried the treasure? At one point I did. It, uh, might have rolled. Fine. We will dig under the coconut. Hmm. <laughs> as fun as this is. It must have rolled. <clears throat> okay. Well, I'll leave you guys to it. I'll leave you guys to it. Arr. You did give me a hand, though, so let's see. So now... Oop, not the no reason to pry that. Not the sand. The tree. I know that seems like a good idea, but it's not. What do you mean it's not? Mm. Oh. Tim Boing? Oh, okay. Hey, what'd you do that for? You're messing up our hoe. Sorry. Hmm. I always wanted to be a lumberjack. I think I've grown past the need to carry rubber trees in my pants. I'll just leave it here. Yeah, well, I mean... I still kind of need this. It's too heavy. Okay, well... So now I knock the tree over. Here. Back to the narwhal. Let's go and see. Maybe I can grab the tree myself. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. Where to, Captain? Let's go back to... Let's get our mask get broken on purpose. Aye, aye, sir. You best mind your own business if you know what's good for you. Do I look like a guy who knows what's good for me? Tell me the ritual word, or you'll be sleeping with the fishes. That's where I sleep. Hey, ugly. <laughs> Are you usually that green, or did your mother cook dinner tonight? That really hurt my feelings. It's a matter of give, sir. Something that Richard simply <coughs> cannot withstand an impact of that force. We need some more flexibility. We are really going to give him what more. But cheer up, sir. At least we can get to see that lovely anemone person again. <sighs> well, I knew that. I, I did that on perp. What the freak is happening? You guys see this? Never get tired of that. Uh, uh no, okay. It's uh, no. What the? What? 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 Why? What? What is? Okay. All right. We're just we're just gonna go. Let's get out of here, Mr. Winslow. 
Onward to Brillig Island. Aye, aye, sir. All right, I still can't pick up this tree. I can't move it. Well, Lunk A and Lunk B aren't here anymore. They must have left. Okay. All right, well, let's go back to the jerkbait, and maybe I can tell Anemone that the tree I need is on this island. Sail for the jerkbait island, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Beakwood. Up we go. <clears throat> Fresh bait. Me again. So I see. Well, what can I get you? Uh, I found a tree you can use. There we go. I'm gonna need another mast replacement, and I'm pretty sure I found a suitable tree on a small island just north of the Rock of Gelato. Yeah, I'll go check it out. Never used a rubber tree for a mast before, but it worked just fine. Your ship is ready and better than ever. Okay, thank you. I think I'm good. See ya. Don't be a stranger. Okay, now we got what we need. Mr. Winslow. Okay, to Straight McGillicuddy again. To McGillicuddy ship. Yes, sir. <coughs> you best mind your own business if you know what's good for you. Do I look like a guy who knows what's good for me? Tell me the ritual. Main mast. Or you'll be sleeping with the fishes. That's where I sleep Robert. anyway. All right, Tell well, here we go. Get the bottom of the hell, Captain, why do you keep bothering me? <laughs> Is that supposed to be a cannon? I thought it was your chamber pot. Gah! You be wearing on me nerves, Sweetwood. Don't you ever get tired of losing? Oh, I don't intend on losing this time, Kelp Sucker. Give me your best shot. Mm-hmm. Oh, my ship! Damn you, Sweetwood! Uh, it's me, Driver Streetwood. Why do you Shut up! Shut up! Mm -mm. That'll teach you to mess with Guybrush. Oh no, the Merleader. Nicely done, Guybrush. Once underwater, I was easily able to escape. The Vacalians are in your debt. Now let's go home. Sure. Good show, sir. I knew you'd make a good captain from the moment I saw your beard. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. Now, back to the Jerkbait Islands before Elaine's pox gets any worse. <clears throat> the map, sir. The what? I like it when you point on the map. Oh, very well, Mr. Winslow. The map is this way. Let's get out of here, Mr. Winslow. To Set sail the jerkbait. Jerk islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Skybrush Threepwood. On behalf of the Mur people of the Jerkbait Islands, I wish to extend our deepest thanks and gratification. Please approach. Uh, how about a reward instead? Guybrush! Indeed. I return to you in <laughs> this former glorious state, your prized pyrite parrot of Petanuma. It's me, Guybrush Freepwood. Mighty pirate. pirate. I know. Thanks. If there is anything else we can offer you, please feel free to ask. Your thanks is enough. And, and, and your gold. Give us all your gold. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Something got stuck in my throat. <laughs> Actually, there is something. Uh, so I need to find the sponge. 
Actually, <coughs> there is one thing. I sort of caused this pox, and I need a sponge of grande to fix that. Especially now. What do you mean by that, you worthless piece of wood? <laughs> Excuse me. I have the artifact. Will you perform the ceremonial ritual to summon the legendary sea creatures to take me there? You, Guybrush, are the holder of the summoning items. You must be the one to use them. Come, give me the artifact. I will teach you the ritual words. <laughs> Take this and throw it with all your might into the ocean. Then speak these words. Oh, great legendary creatures of the sea! Come on, come on boys. Get the ball. You want the ball? Ha, ha, ha. You want the ball? Come get it. Really? Those are the ceremonial <laughs> ritual words? So it has been written. When you are ready, they will lead your ship to where you need to be. Again. Thank you, Guybrush Threepwood, and good luck in your journey. Well, that's that. Uh, come on, Elaine, let's get that sponge and go home. Great. I just need to check up on the chuck and those monkeys. You go ahead and summon the creatures. I'll meet you at your ship in just a moment. Uh, I'm starting to think the chuck was less of a nuisance when he was an evil zombie demon. All right. <laughs> we've we've learned the quote unquote. Ceremonial ritual words. Let's uh, let's go out to sea and summon the creatures. Good to have you back, Captain. Prepare to set sail, Mr. Winslow. All right, so I guess I should go. Let's head back to Flotsam. Out around here. I'll get as close as I can. But with the winds blowing out now, we won't be able to reach land. All right, so... Oh, this just took me back here. Mr. Winslow? Oops. Ah, wrong key. Sorry, guys. Hang on. Yes, Captain? All right, that's... Keep up the good work. Aye, aye, sir. Where... Was I supposed to summon them here? Hold on. Oh yeah. All right. I'm I'm overthinking this. There's nothing better than a life at sea. Every day is a new adventure, and all your friends are fish. Summoning ball artifact. <laughs> okay. Well, here goes nothing. Here, boys, come and get it. Oh shoot. <laughs> Well then. Whoa. Creepy. You can drink wood. Ah. I see the ocean beasties have been summoned. Are we ready to go then? Uh, yes. Yes, we are. Yes. Well, almost. I'm still waiting for Elaine and stupid LeChuck to get here. Something about monkeys or pants. I don't know. <coughs> Guy oh. brush. Elaine, there you are. Come on, let's go. LeChuck, been great seeing you again. Hope the human thing works out for you. I gotta wait to go home and snuggle with you. Later. Guybrush, I'm not coming with you. What? It's these monkeys. Well, I'm going to need help getting these poor little guys back to their homes. You go and get us on your grande. You don't need me for that. Besides, I really think I should keep an eye on LeChuck. Trust me, sweetie. Okay. Don't worry, boy. I'll take good care of her while you're gone. Lane, I'll be back for you in the blink of a squid's eye. Be careful, dear, and don't put your lips on anything. Mr. Winslow, follow those sea creatures. Um, uh, the map. Again with the map? I like the map. Forget <clears throat> about the map, just go. I thought we agreed. You're making us look bad, just go. All right, all right, I'm going. To Esponja Grande. Onward. Mr. Winslow? 
I'm not sure, Captain Fleetwood. I'm just following the beasties. I have no idea where they're going. And to be honest, I'm not sure they do either. We'll be fine, Mr. Winslow. Just stay on course. Ah, this is the sweet pirate life. Out in the deep blue with your best ship and crew searching for the world's rarest treasures, which just happens to be a giant voodoo-sucking sea sponge in this case. It makes you wonder why anyone would consider any other life. Am I right, Mr. Winslow? Mr. Winslow? Oh. Again? Miss me? Not really. Turns out the Marquis isn't satisfied with just your hand. He wants the complete package. So I'm taking over this ship and taking you back to Flotsam Island. Try anything <clears throat> funny, and the short one gets it. <laughs> Why don't you give this up? Join me instead. We can sail together, see the world, just you and me, looting and pillaging in every harbor. It could be just like you always dreamed. As wonderful as that sounds, Guybrush, I do have a job to do. Besides, you're already married to Elaine. Yeah, but she never lets me do any looting or pillaging either. <laughs> Uh, you're bluffing. Go ahead, run him through. I don't think you have the guts. Why, must you tempt her, sir? Don't worry, she won't do it. She's only got orders to bring me in. Killing you wouldn't bring her any profit. He's right, I'm afraid. It's part of the Pirate Hunter's Code. Don't kill anyone you aren't getting paid to. So, I'll just kill you, Guybrush. And you think the Marquis will pay you for bringing in my lifeless corpse? Believe me, this dead body is totally worthless. Captain, something's happening to the sea creatures. Ha! You don't have the skills or the wit to defeat Guybrush Threepwood. I don't need wit to carve a bloody hole in your chest. See, that wasn't witty at all. I don't believe it. Well, you better believe it, sister. Wait, believe what? What? Uh-oh. That is a big manatee. Yeah. Lair of the Leviathan coming up next. That's chapter two.
All right. <clears throat> that ends our journey on this chapter. Lair of the Leviathan coming up next, and I, I seem to recall having some interesting fun with Lair of the Leviathan. Um, I'm not sure how everybody else feels about the third chapter, but um, either way, get ready for more when we return. Uh, probably going to be another game in between this. I don't know what yet. We'll see. But until our next adventure, I... Uh, I'm doing this out of order. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun and myself at twitch.tv slash chaos control channel. And until our next adventure, I've been CD Rump1019, you've been you, and you have been awesome. So take care. Bye-bye.